Hello and welcome to my latest video, Watch Me Resin 6. This week I'm using alcohol ink in resin. I'm making coasters. The round molds take around 120 milliliters of resin and the hexagon molds use about 30 milliliters each. I'm not sure how the round ones will turn out. I've never actually used a mold this big. So I'm going to use the same method I used in my Watch Me Resin video five, which was about timing how long between pouring the resin and putting the alcohol ink. So I'm waiting 30 minutes between pouring and applying alcohol ink. So let's see how it goes. These hexagon coasters, I was trying to go for an Iron Man type aesthetic. I used gold, red and black alcohol inks. So the gold didn't sink through as much as I had hoped. I think it was because I didn't put the white on top like you usually do to force the alcohol ink down. I was under the impression that because gold by itself is usually quite heavy that I didn't need to put the white on it but I think a little bit of white would have helped. I still love the look of these and I'm really happy with the overall results.
Now to the round ones. The blue and teal one. I love the reverse side of this. I think the colours look gorgeous on the reverse side, but the front side I'm not overly happy with. I feel I got a lot of the clouding effect still, even though I had let it sit for 30 minutes before I added the alcohol ink. I mean, the white didn't come through as had done in the past where you get the white globs on the top there's a couple but there's not a lot so the white didn't break all the way through which is a good thing this one I'm probably the most disappointed with it was a uh, blue purple and pink again not the white didn't break through a lot which is the effect I wanted but it, it was very cloudy again So this very bright pink and orange one I absolutely love. The 3D effect came through really well and there's some quite interesting textures towards the middle of the peachy. Um, so I'm really quite happy with this and how bright it looks as well. And lastly, the blue and greenish and yellow one. This one, really interesting effects as well. So none of these were as defined as I would like them to have been. This one actually is quite interesting to look at. In summary, I really do find doing these petri dish effects interesting. I constantly get different results. It's the third batch I've done and I think it's the third video I have done on the subject and they always turn out differently. I follow the same sort of method and I'm not quite sure why but each time they turn out different and I guess that's the nature of the materials you're using. So it's something I will keep working on, researching a bit more information on and posting periodically on YouTube. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe out there, washing your hands frequently, self-isolating if necessary, and not panic buying. Please, please stop the panic buying. Until next week, bye.